Hey everyone, it's the Crazy YouTuber. Welcome to another video. If you're wondering why there's no intro or outro, it's because this is a serious video and I had to wait until my dad left the office and went downstairs to start it. And you know that I came out as transgender in one of my videos, right? Well, before I came out on here, I tried coming out to my parents. Now, judging from this video, it didn't really work. So now it's time I tell you the truth about me. Don't worry, I'm still transgender. Okay, that wasn't a phase. But, um, just thought I'd tell you something about me. When I was a little kid, I would play with Barbie dolls and dress up, wear cheap ass makeup, and wear full, and was a full blown girly girl. No joke. The problem was that every time I did those things, it never felt right. But considering it was either that or die of boredom, I chose to be a girly girl. So when I grow up, I come out to my parents and they won't believe me. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so, years have gone by and I'm still feeling like a piece of shit. And it wasn't until I was 15 that I found out what I was and who I was. After doing a little research on what transgender was and experimenting with my gender, I finally realized that I was transgender. But considering at the time transgender people were treated more like shit, and they're still treated like shit, but less than. And today I decided to keep my mouth shut until in high school last year because I felt more comfortable and I felt safe and, yeah, and my friends were there so I thought you know what I'm tired of I'm tired of hiding myself I, I'm tired of this I'm tired of shit I'm tired of feeling like someone I'm not and I started coming out to everyone I came out to my friends and I kinda gave some hints to my boyfriend but, but honestly I don't think he really cares about that shit and I kind of appreciate that because cause it tells me that he doesn't care what kind of person I am or what gender I am or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like he doesn't give a shit about all that, all that shit. And which he's actually kind of told me in his little way that he doesn't care. So he loves me no matter what, and I love him no matter what. So yeah. But then came the hard part, coming up to my, coming out to my parents. Now this was a nightmare. After making a joke about not yet having a wiener yet, my, because mom asked if I can give her my wiener. <laughs> we were eating hot dogs and stuff. And remember, that was a joke. She started to laugh and tell me what I was and what I wasn't, and Dad agreed with her. Now this saddened me because um because my dad um usually sometimes most of the time he backs me up. I mean he backed me up when I came out as bisexual. Why did big Why did he back me up now? The only guy, and like I said, the only guy who was actually there for me when mom went to work and, and school agreed to the woman who calls herself a mother. After that, I talked to my therapist about it, and she talked to them about it, but they're still not respecting my identity. But yeah, that's what's going on. And just to remind you guys, I'm a bisexual man stuck in a female's body. So can you guys do me a favor and help support me through this shit? It would mean the world to me. Now, I wrote this. Well, I typed it. In August 16th. At night. I wanted to make a video straight away. Telling you guys all this. But I just, I just didn't find a good time to do it. Now all of that that I said, I meant every single word of it. That is who I am. I just wish my parents could accept that. Mostly my mother. Cause my dad, I think it was his way of saying that he supports me. But he did say that he doesn't care what I do as long as I, 
as long as I enjoy it or some something like that. Um, and um, it just it just saddens me. And I've tried talking to m and I've tried talking to my about this message. What I'm about to say goes out to the to the uh, trans guys on YouTube who try giving me um, ideas and advice. Um, but I tried I tried talking to her. I tried educating her. I tried everything. She does not want to believe it. She does. She doesn't believe it. She's. She just doesn't see it. And um. And yeah. And this. This goes to my announcement. Um. Um. When I turn eighteen, I'm gonna legally change my name to Matthew. And, uh, and I don't care if my dad doesn't like this because his side of his family is not really a good family, but I'd rather have my last name like his. Um, because he's always been there for me. He was my caretaker, and he basically, he was always there for me. And, um, I'm not saying it was mom's fault, um, that... She was never there for me, but that's just the sad truth. And I understand that she had to, um, she had to make money for us so we can keep on living. And I understand that. And the reason why I say that, and I say it, even though I understand that, I, she still wasn't there. I still say she wasn't there for me. It's because um. So because considering the last time that we spent together as when I was a kid, like younger, I really don't think she has the right to say that she, she she's known me ever since I was a kid. Well, she did give birth to me, but still, I don't think she has the right to say that. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to, um, clarify some things and to finally be open about myself. Um, and to be honest, my dad is not out of the office. He is still in the office. I just needed to make this video. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything that I wrote, that I typed into that piece of shit, I meant it, I meant every single word of it, that is literally what I'm going through, and that is who I am, and I'm not ashamed of it, I just, When I turn 18, I'm going to legally change my name to Matthew. My middle name is going to stay the same. So my f full name is going to be Matthew Artemis Morrison. Not, it won't be Madeline Artemis Bouchard anymore. It will be Matthew Artemis Morrison. Because I'd rather be a fucking Morrison than a Bouchard. Because let me tell you, not only is it because my mom has chosen to support me, even though she says she does, but if she did actually support me, she, it wouldn't be hard for her to respect my identity and use my proper pronouns and call me by my proper name. It's also because on mom's side of the family is more twisted than it is on my dad's family. There's so many people on my dad's family that actually respect me and actually love me than on my mom's side. So yeah.
this video is not going to be edited, there's not going to be an intro or an outro because this is a serious video that I wanted to get out to you guys. And um I don't want to I want I don't want to be depressing. It's just this is what I'm going through. And and at the moment I don't have a therapist to help me with this. Yeah, I'm in a social skills class, but it's an all girl class. And I want to be I want to be in a class that has at least some people who are like me who are going through the same problem so we so we can talk it out and shit. And also, when I turn 18, after school, after 10th grade is done, I, I'm going to move, I'm going to move out of this house. Uh, my parents might say otherwise. But um, at that age, I can legally leave the house. I can j go somewhere else, but I can't do that until I get a job and I have enough money. So I might be moving out of the house in the start of um, 11th grade. But I can't stay in this house for much longer. I, I literally can't. I can't, I can't stand all the stress, I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of it. And who knows, maybe one of my friends will allow me to live with them until I can get my own place. It might take a long time, but hey. I'm asking you guys is for your support. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for much. Just for your support. And I know it's hard to get support on this fucking platform. It's especially, especially when I'm a small YouTuber. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be more entertaining and it, it'll be happier. So yeah, this is a crazy YouTuber sign now. You guys just keep being crazy. Bye.